In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a professional looking stream with your PS4 without a capture card. You'll be able to stream to any platform, including YouTube. If you're a small streamer and want to improve your stream and maybe grow your channel in the process, then go ahead and subscribe for more videos like this one. In one of my more popular videos, I showed a quick and easy way to add overlays to Twitch streams, and a lot of people were wondering about YouTube, so here's this video. And before we get started, I want to give a few disclaimers, and also, like I just mentioned in my other video, some easier methods if you don't want to follow this one. First thing you're going to need is a decent PC or laptop for this. It doesn't have to be a beast, but it's going to need to be pretty good to be able to stream through OBS. And also, you're going to need some pretty good internet, and I'd recommend running an ethernet cable to both your PlayStation and computer. Yes, this sucks but this is the only workaround I can think of without a capture card for YouTube. Now, like I said, if you want a simple fix for Twitch streams, I've got a video that shows how to do this, but this video will work with any platform and let you use Streamlabs or Stream Element alerts through OBS and all that good stuff. But don't let all this keep you from trying this method. There's tons of videos out there that help with OBS settings and show how to stream with a not so good computer. Anyways, let's go ahead and get right into it. Before we look at all the OBS stream stuff, let's hop onto the PS4. This looks bad. Like the title says, no capture card. We're gonna fix this in a minute. But right now I just got my camera set up. But go ahead and hop on your main account. Go over to your settings, account management, and activate as your primary PS4. Now this shouldn't be a problem. Some of you, it's already gonna be activated. Uh, if not, you're just gonna have to click activate but if it's not letting you, like maybe because you game share with someone and it's not letting you click activate because it's on another PlayStation, then you're gonna have to go to that PlayStation or call your friend or whoever and tell them to get on your account, go to account management and click deactivate. And then on your PS4, get on your account, account management and activate. And if it just works for you, then ignore everything I just said, but let's just go ahead and hop on the computer. What you're gonna need now is to get on the internet and search PlayStation Remote Play. Should be this first link here for the download Windows PC or Mac. Download whichever one you need. And also, I'm watching videos up here. I'm watching, this is Nick Merckx. Gonna have to watch that in a second. You're gonna need OBS. You can either use the simple OBS, 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 or Streamlabs. I've been streaming with Streamlabs, but I'm starting to use Stream Elements for my alerts. And so I'm just gonna go over to the simpler version of OBS starting from now on with my streams, but either one works and you'll be able to follow the settings that I show with either one of these softwares for this video. So pick whichever one you like. Streamlabs is really good. OBS is a little less whatever. Now let's go ahead and hook our PlayStation to our computer. Don't actually, I'm not saying plug anything into your computer. Just launch this PS4 Remote Play app. This screen will come up. Go to your settings. Sign in to that main account that you just activated as your primary PS4. Use the same account. Log in right here. You can change your resolution if your internet's not so hot uh, or if you don't want your computer to be stressing with your stream. I mean, you'll probably be good with 720. PS4 Pro can do 1080. I'm gonna stick with 720 frame rate. You can go standard or high. High would probably be the best bet. I'll just leave it on standard though. Um, high is if you have good connection to your PS4, uh, but it says it's gonna turn off gameplay recording, which you probably don't need, unless that might be an easy way to clip rather than clipping through YouTube or Twitch. Anyway, use keyboard. Don't have to worry about this setting. Click OK. Now, rather than clicking start, don't do that. Follow the directions. Connect your controller straight to your computer. Let me plug mine in real quick. Now it'll recognize it and pull up this screen. And as you can see, it says just press the options button to start pairing. Click that on your controller. It'll say searching connecting and boom there you go you should be able to use your controller and with little to no lag or delay you should be able to move through your menu and all that now if you're having issues connecting like sometimes 
it would pop up this screen like this and it would be really dark or look really bad you can either like i would say first give it a few minutes and see if it connects better and if it doesn't then close the app and just try connecting again it could just be your internet's not strong enough or i had this problem because i didn't plug in my controller first so maybe that's your issue make sure you plug your controller in and hit the options menu to start the pairing process from here, you can probably guess what we're gonna do. We're just gonna go into OBS, set up a stream that captures this window, and that pretty much eliminates you needing an Elgato because this will bring all of your PlayStation audio to your computer and your gameplay, and you just capture that and stream it to Twitch or YouTube or Mixer, not Mixer, because Mixer's dead. But anyways, I'm not gonna go into like a OBS deep dive, show you alerts and everything in this video, but I will give you the basics. My first OBS tip is always right click on it, OBS or OBS Streamlabs and run it as administrator. For some reason that makes it run way smoother. Uh, I, I don't really know, but always do that. I'm actually not gonna do that right now, even though I'm telling you to always do it because I'm running Streamlabs to record this video. So I don't wanna have any problems. So when you open OBS or Streamlabs on your computer for the first time, it should pop up and ask if you wanna run the automatic like auto configuration wizard or something like that. And if that doesn't come up, it'll be up here in your tools and you can click it right here. And I would recommend doing that. It'll test your computer and your internet and help you choose the best settings. Now let's go ahead and set up the stream and then I'll talk a few more settings and stuff. Uh, to get our PlayStation capture, you can either use a window capture or make the remote play thing full screen and get a display capture. For this tutorial, I'm gonna do the window capture. You can name it gameplay or PS4, whatever you want and then click on this drop down menu and look for remote play. For some reason there's three, but this one is the one that works, the PS4 remote play. Click it and boom, it should pop up with no problems. If you ever have problems where your window capture or display capture is showing a black screen, then try closing the app coming over to your application, right clicking it, make sure you close out of OBS first or Streamlabs, whatever, and try running it with a different graphics processor. I don't really know what this does or why it seems to help, but if you right click, come down to run with graphics processor and click integrated graphics, then a lot of the times it'll fix that display capture issue or try clicking this one as well if that still doesn't help. And if that doesn't help, then I'm sorry. But you can come in here, right click on this, transform, and click fit to screen. Now we've got that full screen. You've got this desktop audio. You see how the levels are moving. It's actually like capturing my uh, PlayStation menu music playing in the background. So this right here should bring in all your PlayStation audio, which will be your gameplay sound, you know, like guns and explosions. And also it should be your party audio, which would be your friends. But in order to get your microphone coming through, you're going to need to either have a USB microphone and you're going to have to add this audio input capture, name it whatever you want. And this will be where you select your microphone. It would really help to have like a blue snowball, but if you have a, like this microphone, real tech, that should be something that's like built into your computer. If you don't have a microphone, use that as like your last resort. But these blue snowballs are like 40 or 50 bucks. Pick one up, it'll help your stream quality a ton. But that should cover your audio. Keep your USB headset or wireless headset and all that hooked to your PlayStation. So party chat and all that should work fine. And you can talk through it and also have your USB mic. I know that's kind of confusing and honestly, I don't know all the ins and out of these audio settings since we're having to use our PlayStation and our headset through the PlayStation, but have our controller hooked to the computer. It can be confusing, but 
these settings should work. Kind of depends on your headset and microphone and all that. Anyways, quick little simple things for OBS. You can add overlays by just adding an image and then browse. I'll include a overlay or two in the description of this video. If you guys want to use them, they won't be super great, but I have this free pack that I'll, you can use to uh, design something or use this little overlay to have your followers, viewers, donations, or your Twitter. It's not the greatest, but it'll add it. Um, and then when it comes to alerts, just go, which I can't say just go do this. It's a little complicated, but through stream elements or stream labs, if you're familiar with streaming at all, you know, you set it up and it gives you a link and you'll copy that link at a browser source, click okay. And then right here is where you'll put that link and it should work fine in your alerts and you can move it wherever you want. But I'm not gonna set all that up in this video. Lastly, real quick, let's look at some settings. Like I said, do that auto configuration and that should you know, set up the best settings for you. Also, that auto configuration thing will log you in to where it'll automatically have you ready to go to just click start streaming but if you missed that part somehow then just go to stream right here if you click twitch i'm pretty sure it just gets you to log into your twitch which is really easy if you do youtube you're gonna have to find your stream key which is a little confusing um there's videos out there that can help you but basically you have to go to youtube click the like create button where you would upload a video but click go live then fill out your live stream information. Then it'll give you a stream key that you can paste right here. And then you'll be good to go. Um, output video bitrate will be something you want to play with. Go with whatever it recommends. Um, if you have a really nice computer, 6,000 is probably as high as you want to go. But it might keep you, you know, the auto thing will probably keep you around 2,500. Just play with that number if your stream is laggy. Just make it lower until it's looking better and also in this video setting this right here doesn't really matter this will be your the resolution of your monitor so most likely your monitor is going to be 1920 by 1080 this will be the stream quality unless you have a beast of a computer i'd recommend 1280 by 720 or lower especially if you know your computer is going to have to run uh the remote play thing in the background and obs you know just you don't want to put too much on your computer and make your stream laggy so try this if you need to lower this number if you need to lower your bit rate until it's all smoothed out should be able to keep it at 60 frames if not go 30 frames and then just click apply i'm gonna cancel mine I'll be honest, I don't really like this method, but like I said, you know, my most popular comment on the last video with the Twitch stream setup is how to do this for YouTube. And honestly, this is the only thing I can think of without a capture card. A really weird method that if you just really didn't want to do this and you were determined to have a YouTube stream setup is I would say you're still going to need OBS and you're going to need to follow my kind of OBS rundown that I gave at the end of this video. But technically, if you streamed straight from your PlayStation to like a dummy account or a second account you have, and then make that stream full screen, then you can use OBS to capture that screen, add your overlays on top, and then send all of that to your main account. You're probably gonna lose some quality if you do it that way, but that would get you around using ps4 remote play and if that didn't make any sense to you then just ignore the last minute of me talking but if the tutorial before all that rambling helps you then be sure and leave a like it helps the channel out a ton be sure and subscribe for more videos i've been slacking lately july is going to be a slow month i've got one weekend like the 23rd or 24th where i plan to be streaming all day so be on the lookout for that if you've been around my channel for a little while, I'll be updating my overlay expert video pretty soon. So be on the lookout for that as well. And thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you so much. And I'll see you all in the next one. <coughs>